Hey guys, what is going on? Hello, good morning and welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, so good to be back in front of the camera as always. For all my TikTokers and YouTubers, whichever platform you're watching this from, uh, make sure to uh, subscribe uh, to the page or channel, share, like, comment. I love everything. <laughs> all right. Okay. So let's jump right in. So this topic kind of hit me. Um, it actually hit me this morning. I just woke up, you know, so it's morning time here in uh, Chicago. So I just woke up and, you know, I was getting myself together because I, I got some errands to run, you know, and I woke up and this topic just kind of hit me shortly after I woke up. So I said, let me get on here and talk to my people. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk about, you know, good deeds versus bad deeds and that and that system so a lot of times you know in life we we know that we know we're not perfect right so we know that we we all have a track record of you know the good things we do and then we have some not so good things <laughs> that we do and we're not proud of <laughs> and that's fine because it happens it happens you know we're not perfect right and you know over time you know, we're praying that and hoping that we'll have more of the good deeds versus the bad deeds, okay? Because we all, you know, we're born into sin and we all have a, like a sin nature inside of us. So that would be the reason for why sometimes we tiptoe into the darkness <laughs> occasionally, okay? So sometimes it happens, don't beat yourself up about it. You know, you just let God see you through. Okay, see you through back to the light. All right. But in terms of when it comes to how we interact with people and how people interact with us, is there a system set in place, a good deeds and versus bad deeds system? And does that sort of regulate how they treat you? Because what I've noticed in my own life, you know, from like different personal experiences I've had, um, and then also just looking at other people, you know, and just, just growing, learning, maturing as a woman, I noticed that people sort of use this system. They they feel like if I've done X, Y, and Z for you, and if I've done and these and all those things were good, if I've done a list of of all these good things in general, whether it be for you or not, maybe I gave to the homeless, maybe I gave out turkeys at Thanksgiving, you know, for less fortunate people, you know, maybe I gave to a charity, you know, I, I did this, that, and, and the third, maybe I helped my mom uh, with her house or something, you know, and then also I did things for you, you know, I did something nice for you as well, I helped you pay for college, um, I bought you something, I got your hair done or, you know, I got your nails on, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever the good deed was, I gave you a good advice or something, something like that. I gave you money when you needed it to pay your rent, you know, or your mortgage, you know. So it's like the good deeds are, they're lining up, they're adding up, right? So I feel like people look at that and they, the person looks at that and they're like, I've done all these good things to you, for you, so... When I do something rough and I do something like I misuse you, I mislead you, I abuse you, you should shut your mouth because I got a list here and I got the receipts and I can pull out all the good things I've done for you. So what you complaining for? Like, why you mad though? <laughs> you know, so, and I feel like that is how people generally operate, especially in a time like, you know, today, you know, that's kind of what people do. You know, they feel like I've done so much, you know, I've done so much to help you out. So like, why you, why are you saying something to me about something that I didn't do or something that I did poorly? You know, like what, what is your beef, you know, that you got with me? But that is not the way in which we should operate. OK, because it does them a huge disservice because it it doesn't allow for them to really be fully healed from their own brokenness 
It doesn't allow them to see the other sides of themselves that are undesirable. It doesn't allow them to see that they're hurting people around them. Sometimes it's not, it's not the things you have, but it's how you treat people in your life. It's how people respond to you. How, how, are you, how do people feel about you? You know, how do people feel about you? How do you treat people? How do your family feel about you? How do your friends feel about you, your associates, whatever? People who mean something to you, you know, how do they feel about you, about the interaction that they have with you? Because that's more important than, than stuff. All these things that you're talking about, like, oh, I have, uh, I have a nice car. I have a nice house. I'm a nice person. You know, oh, I have several degrees. I have all this kind of stuff. I'm blessed. You may be blessed, but baby, you can still be trash. Mm. I ain't being mean. I'm just being real. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> you know, like you, you could be a trashy person and, and have all these blessings. And while we talking about blessings, all blessings ain't from God, you know, so put that one in your pocket for later. Okay. <laughs> you know, but, uh, yeah, you can, you can be a blessed person and still be kind of have a trashy sort of personality, you know? So, you know, let, let's, let's get rid of the, the, the trash and the garbage, the, the basura. Okay. <laughs> In Spanish, if you Spanish and watching, Hey, hola. But, uh, let, let's, let's get rid of that and let God clear us out. Let us get, let him give us a new perception, a new vision, a new light, a new insight, a new perspective. Let's allow God to do a work in us. Because when you are so clogged up with like, oh, well, I'm so blessed and I have all these things. I've done all these things. I've done these things for you. You know, you're impeding your own progress. You're not allowing God to do a work in you so that your interactions with people can get better for, so that you can get better overall. But so that people can have a better experience with you. Because I'll tell you, I went to a funeral a couple of weeks ago. I'm just going to throw this in. I went to a funeral a couple of weeks ago. And uh, it was for a pastor that we, you know, we knew and we fellowship with. He was a good man. But at that funeral, it was big. A lot of people were there. It was very beautiful. It was long. You know, as expected. Usually pastoral funerals are longer than normal funerals. But anyway... Everybody got there had something good to say about him. They weren't talking about all the things he had, all his belongings, his possession. They were talking about kind of person he was and their interaction with the, with him and how he made them feel. That is what they talked about. So I'm just saying, how are you making people feel? What is their interaction like with you? You know, so th these are something, these are things I want you all to kind of think about. So it's more, life is more and life is bigger than I drive a fancy car. I just got a new car. I got a big house. You know, I have several degrees in X, Y, and Z studies. You know, <laughs> oh, I'm this, that, and the third. I have all this. I go to this, I blah, blah, blah. No. How do people feel around you? How do you make people feel? And what kind of person are you? You know, what? what is your personality like, you know? So these are the things I kind of want you to think about. Allow God to do a work in you this week. That's the goal. Allow God to come in. Just say to God, God, I don't know what to do, okay? I don't know how people feel about me, how, they, how the interactions are. Maybe it's not so positive all the time, but I need you to help me. Help me be a better me. Let that be the prayer. Whatever you want to tell God, just as long as you speak honestly from the heart, you all good to go. Okay. Amen. Amen. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for interacting all the time with me and watching the videos. I hope you're getting something out of them. I really pray that you are. Uh, and I feel that you are. So that, that always puts a smile on my face. So I will see you guys later. You guys have a, have a extremely blessed week and have a great weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye.